Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. And in this video, I'd like to show you guys how we change sand in an in-ground pool filter. There's a lot of different filters out there. There's top mount, side mount, there's different sizes. But for this video demonstration, we're gonna be dealing with the Hayward S244T top mount filter. And this particular tank here is a 300 pound tank. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the pump. And then what we're gonna do is we have to remove the top mount multiport. And in order to do so, we're gonna to have to cut the plumbing. And on this particular display, what I've done is I've installed unions. If we cut the plumbing and join it back with couplings, eventually you run out of pipe. So by putting a union in, we only have to cut it one time. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the union. And when we do so, that allows us to separate the pipe. And we're gonna do this with all three of them so that we can have access to take this off. Okay, now that we have the union separated, um, now we're gonna be able to take this top mount off. And what we wanna do, there is a band, there's some screws here, and we're just going to unscrew. Just be careful we don't lose the nut. I'm gonna go over here on this side, and unscrew this one, Then we can remove our band. We'll set that to the side. And now at this time, we're gonna be able to remove this multiport and take it off of the filter and what we want to do is we want to uh, rotate this and then this will come off. Now we'll be able to set this to the side and now we're going to have access to get into the tank. Okay so next what we want to do is get yourself a cup or something like this that we can put over this because we want to make sure we do not put sand in here when we're taking sand out and especially when we're putting sand in. So I'm just going to put a cup over that uh, for time being and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the drain cap on the bottom of the tank. And when we do so, if we turn the, the cap around, there's a notch in here. We're going to use this as a tool. We're going to line this up and then we're going to unscrew. And what this does is this takes out the center piece so it'll allow us to remove the sand. And now we've got this off and now the sand will come out along with the water. Just removing the cap only allows water to come out, but by taking this piece out, it's now gonna allow the sand to come out. As an important note, if you guys have a Hayward tank and it is pre-2006, it will not have this. So you will not be able to remove this. It will only have a drain cap. And if that is the case for you guys that have an older Hayward filter, you will have to hand scoop or use a shop vac and manually get the sand out. So anything from 2006 forward will have this, and I like this feature. Uh, Pentair does the same thing, but I like it because it just makes it a whole lot easier when changing sand. So we're gonna set this to the side, and then what we're gonna do, take a garden hose, and we put it in here, and we turn it on, and we can run the hose in here and let the water run, and as that's running, it's flushing the sand out. It, it is a good idea to have maybe some plastic, let the sand get on it, just makes it easier to, to remove. If not, if it's in the grass, just makes it a little more difficult to clean it up because there's going to be a lot of sand coming out right here and that just makes it much easier to get the sand out of the tank. So once we get all the sand out of the tank and we've got all this rinsed really good, then we're going to be able to come over here, take this off and take our stand pipe. And on this particular filter, these laterals will fold up. And by folding them up, it will allow us to remove the lateral assembly, like so. Then we're able to come over here and open them back up to inspect and make sure that everything is good, there's nothing broke or cracked, and we can also clean it thoroughly, make sure that we get it good and clean and we can check it. Now, for those of you that don't have lateral assemblies that fold up, if you do have an older tank, uh, Hayward made it at one time where these unscrew. But on the newer tanks, they fold up and just makes it easier to get it out so you can inspect it. And then when we're done, we wanna fold it back down. But we're gonna go ahead and check it. If everything looks good, we have access to clean. Now we can actually take the tank if there is any little bit of sand in there. It's gonna be lightweight. We'll be able to pick it up. We'll be able to literally flush and rinse this out. 
dump it. Um, we can actually move this around now because the lateral assembly is out. You don't really want to do this and roll the tank around in the yard because you can actually crack or break your lateral assembly. So this just makes it easier for you to get to it and get it all good and clean. Once that's done, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool on our cap. We're going to put it back down. We're going to just screw it in so that it's nice and flush like so. And at that point, we are now going to be able to fill the tank up with water, at least up to this point. And the reason we're doing this is we're making sure that we don't have any leaks once we put this back on, because you just want to make sure everything is good. And now we're going to take our lateral assembly, which we have here. We're going to fold up the laterals like so. So we'll be able to get them back into the tank. And once inside the tank, then we're going to open up the lateral assemblies. It is very, very important that you do so. Do not leave the laterals up and then put sand in here because you will have a problem. The lateral assembly has to go down. Make sure they're all opened. We put our cup over this. We center this. And now we're going to be able to come in here and we're going to be able to pour sand in here. Like I said before, do not get sand in the center pipe. We're just going to be putting sand around the outside edge. On this particular tank, it's 300 pounds. Sand typically comes in 50 pound bags. So we're talking about six bags of sand and we're gonna pour the sand in. And when I told you earlier, we wanna fill the tank up with water about up to here, it was for two reasons. One, to make sure that this is not leaking so we're ready to go. And number two, we can cover this with water so as we're putting sand in um, as the sand is falling in it's not going to be falling and hitting these laterals cracking or damaging them especially if the sand is wet if it's dry it's not so bad but that's why we put the water in here and then you're going to put sand in here and the sand only comes up to about right here we are not going to be putting sand all the way up to the top if you want to know how much sand your tank takes like I said, this is a 244T uh, top mount by Hayward. They also make a 210, they make a 220. You have to look at the label plate and the label plate will be on the side of the filter. In the back here is a label plate and it'll tell us exactly what size tank it is, the model number, how much sand goes in there. And it is very important that we do get the correct amount in here. And when putting sand in here, you're gonna be using a silica 20. That is a filter sand. You do not wanna put play sand in here, mortar sand. You wanna to go to a pool store and get actual silica 20 grade filter sand. Okay, so now that we've got the sand in, then what we wanna do is we wanna remove our cup. We wanna make sure that this is good and clean around the outside, good and clean around the pipe. We also wanna make sure that the multiport itself is good and clean. The O-ring here, make sure that we don't have trash or sand in here. We wanna inspect it and make sure it's good. And then what I like to do is I like to take Jack's lube and I like to lube this in here. I also like to put a little lube around the pipe itself and we can also lubricate the, the O-ring or the gasket. This will just make for a nice tight seal and it will also slide on very easily um, and also preventing the standpipe in the future when removing this from sticking in here, it just allows it to slide out much easier because if it does pull up, then this gets raised and then we have a problem. But it's not really a, a, a major issue because when we're changing sand, we're gonna take the sand out anyway. So we will be able to lower this, but it's important that it stays down low because you only have so much distance to put this in here. And you don't wanna put this on and not be able to push it down because it, it got pulled up. So what we'll do is we'll set this down like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up and we're gonna push this down. And as you can see, it's nice and flush, it's nice and tight. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our unions and we're going to go ahead and screw those back on, making sure that the O-rings were in here. And by the way, we can also use Jack's Lube to lubricate the O-rings in here if they're a little dry. Uh, it just makes for this a little bit easier to put it on. Greasing it down with the Jack's Lube, this is a underwater lubricant. Uh, it does work very well and holds up underwater much better than Vaseline. So I highly recommend Jack's Lube because we use it in the field all the time. At this point, we're gonna be able to take our band and we're gonna go ahead and put the band back on. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that I position this in a way that I can get to it with my screwdriver. So I'm not having to fight around the plumbing here. And we'll go ahead and set it like this. That way I have access to get to it. And we're gonna go ahead and put uh, one side in 
and we're not going to tighten it down we're just going to snug it and then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing and as you'll note we have the same space here that we do here because like i said we're just going to snug it and once we get everything on where we know we've got a pretty good fit then we can go ahead and start snugging it up a little bit more and once you get to this point where both sides are pretty even then what we want to do is we want to tap that band all the way around then we're going to snug it up a little bit more on both sides and we're going to tap around tap around snug it up a little more and each time i do this i can see that we've still got a little bit of play until we get it good and tight just tap it and the reason i'm doing this and and tightening it gradually is we're pulling it in evenly because if you just screw one side and then screw the other side you're more than likely going to have a leak and by doing it this way we can just make sure that we're getting it on good and secure evenly all the way around we're going to put our little protectors back on the bolt and then what we're going to do is we're going to start up the system but we're not going to leave it in filter what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this to backwash and then we're going to turn the pump on and we're going to run it for about a minute and you can also see here in the sight glass and what we're going to do is we're going to be rinsing the film out of the sand the sand is new it's clean but it's going to have a lot of film so we're going to rinse that out really good flush out the sand and we're going to run it for about a minute and then we're going to turn off the pump and then we're going to rotate it to rinse we're going to turn the pump on we're going to let it run for about 30 seconds that's just going to flush everything out then we're going to turn off the pump then we're going to go back into filter, turn it on, and we should be good to go. And at this time, we do want to inspect and make sure that there's no leaks, everything's good and dry, and it's good and dry down here where the drain is. If everything looks good, we're done. If when running this, we see a little bit of a leak, no worry. All we got to do is turn off the pump, get our screwdriver, tighten it up a little bit more on each side, tap it, tighten it up a little bit more, on each side then we can turn it back on and now we're done okay so at this point everything's running we've checked our unions we've checked our top we've checked our drain cap everything seems to be running fine and this is how we change sand now for you guys that need parts let's just say you're changing sand and you need a lateral assembly or you've got some laterals that are damaged i will post links down below in regards to lateral assemblies the multiport unions jack's lube the drain cap but it is important to note what tank you have because there's different sizes so obviously if you have a 210 filter you wouldn't be using a 244 lateral assembly so you got to make sure you size that correctly and i am here to help so if you guys have any questions you can always comment down below or give me a call i'll be glad to help but this is how we change sand i hope this video was helpful don't forget us on Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. I do appreciate you watching. I want to thank all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do so for future content. As always, I appreciate you watching. My name is Mark, and I'll see you guys on the next video.